Hi guys, so today I have a super exciting video to film. Actually, I could not get this video topic out of my head for the past few days, so I wanted to sit down and film it. I have done something like this before, but I wanted to refresh the concept a little bit. So today we're going to be talking about beginner niche fragrances entry niche fragrances, mass appealing niche fragrances, you can call the video whatever you want, but basically I'm going to recommend you guys 11 niche fragrances that I believe you would like, you would love actually, if you're just kind of transitioning from your typical designer fragrances and you would like to try something from a niche brand, I have 11 recommendations here. Now I really thought about this list long and hard because I have a big big collection here in Dubai and I could have recommended a lot but I really wanted to curate this list so that I know everyone is getting something that they will like. So I'm super excited to film it if you cannot tell already and I want to get straight into it. So let's go. Okay, I think I'm going to start out with this fragrance from Roja Parfum. This is 51 Parfum. Now this is a stunning, creamy, slightly powdery, yellow and white floral. It has a little bit of a soapiness, like I said, a bit of a powderiness to it, and it smells super, super expensive. Yeah, for me, this is a very mass appealing floral scent that smells very luxurious and it has that niche quality to it. So I really, really believe that a lot of you would love this one if you're just kind of transitioning and you wanted to get something from Roja. Roja definitely has a lot of strong niche niche fragrances like Diagalev, like um, all the Aouds, the Amber Aoud, the Musk Aoud, all of them. He has a lot to pick from and the most mass appealing that I think is the most beautiful is 51 Parfum. Like I said, kind of has this tropical vibe to it as well. It's a powdery, slightly soapy, a little bit of a woodiness underneath. It's a bit sweet, but it has this tropical floral vibe that I just adore from some ylang ylang, some white flowers, and it is just stunning. I really think if you're a floral fan and you wanted to try something niche, you should definitely go for Roger's 51 Parfum. So that's my first recommendation. Next up, I have one from Mise en Sœur, and this is For Your Love. Actually, guys, I have a crazy thing to tell you. I was so excited and I was fangirling so hard because I met Alberto Marias in Cannes at the tax free. I bumped into him, we were at the Majestic Hotel getting lunch and I was, uh, I saw him, I was like, I have to go say hello. And I introduced myself to Alberto Marias. He's so sweet, he's really nice, his daughter is super, super kind and friendly. And anyways, I'm getting on a rant, but I just wanted to say I was so excited to meet him because Alberto Marias, he's iconic, he's one of the biggest master perfumers of all time and it was just a pleasure. So For Your Love, that's not why I'm talking about it. For Your Love is a beautiful, sweet, fruity, ambery, fluffy, sweet scent. It has raspberry, it has ambergris, it has patchouli. I really love the patchouli in this fragrance because it's a very supporting role. It doesn't smell very obvious at all, but you can definitely feel something underneath. You really get this raspberry mixed with amber so like a fruity ambery scent that is very sweet a little creamy and it is just stunning 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 i really think a lot of you guys would love this one even if you're not wanting an entry niche fragrance even if you just want a good fragrance this is fabulous for your love from mise en Sœur. oh and longevity on this one is fabulous longevity on 51 pour femme is fabulous as well where to next okay I'm just going to quickly breeze through this one because you guys know this fragrance very well from YouTube, from my channel, from everyone's channel. It is Montal Intense Café. Now, Intense Café. <laughs> you can pick pretty much any Montal fragrance, go to their store and smell all of them. There is a lot that smell mass appealing. There is the Roses, Roses Musk, there is Intense Café, Ristretto Intense Café, Arabian's Tonker, I love that one, there's Honey Aoud. There are so many that smell, they sound scary, like Amber Oud or like black something. They sound scary, but they're not at all. A lot of them have this really likable and appealing uh, DNA to them. All of Montal's fragrances, they last a super long time on your skin which I love about the brand. And for me, Intense Cafe is just something you cannot go wrong with this scent. It smells so good. I, I cannot even really imagine anybody not liking this fragrance. It's very sweet. It has rose. It has like this creamy, milky sweetness to it, some vanilla. 
a little bit of coffee, but the coffee is not really very prominent in the scent. Apparently it's much more prominent in the Ristretto Intense Cafe, but in the Intense Cafe, you more get this very sweet, creamy, vanillic rose scent. And I absolutely love it. It's very appealing. It's very sexy. You're going to get noticed and complimented with this one. Highly recommend Intense Cafe from Montal. Like I mentioned, Montal fragrances and Montserra, they last a long time on your skin and they project a lot. So no need to worry about that. Mango Skin by Wilhelm Parfumery. Now, I am obsessed with this brand. I'm actually doing a video with them soon. I'm so excited, you guys. I, I need to take a breather. In 2021, Wilhelm Parfumery was definitely one of the top brands that I discovered. I have about three brands that I discovered this year. And I already had kind of heard about them, but never took the time to actually go through and try them. And Wilhelm, just a little spoiler, was one of my favorite brands that I discovered this year by far. I'm really excited about the brand. I'm so happy to have some of their fragrances. You, I don't know if you guys own any, I'm sure that you do. But even when you look at their detail, they have like a stamps on the bottom in like a 3D, I guess you could say. You open the cap, it's magnetic. And then you look inside of the cap, it even has a detail inside here. There is just something, me, I'm very passionate about attention to details. I'm such a fanatic over small details when it comes to packaging or a brand in general or a concept. And that's something I really appreciate about Wilhelm Parfumery. Even if you look at their box, it's crazy. I will do a video on Wilhelm so then I can show you guys, but it's crazy. So the fragrance that I chose for this is Mango Skin. Now there is also two other fragrances that I believe could be a great entry niche fragrance. It's Dear Polly. Love it. I have it in my bathroom. I wear it all the time out of the shower. And also uh, Room Service, which is a beautiful, fresh, crisp, floral, rosy, peony sort of scent. But the one that I think I like the most is Mango Skin. This is a super sexy, sweet, uh, tart, fruity, black currant. You have some mango, you have a little bit of a creaminess. It's a little bit like sour and uh, it has this little bit of a sour punch to it. It is just Fabulous. This scent is just addictive, sexy, sweet, mass appealing, compliment getting. I see this on a summer night. I actually wore this fragrance a lot in Corsica, especially for summer nights. And I remember Pierre's cousin would come over and she would smell all of the fragrances that I had with me and we would get ready together. And I went through all of the fragrances with her and she was like, she fell in love with mango skin. She loved it and she was wearing it all the time whenever she would come over. So Mango Skin, it is a great fruity scent, very addictive, very sexy. It's strong, it does give like a great projection and the longevity is around six to eight hours, give or take. Love it, really, really recommend this one from Wilhelm, especially if you're a fan of sweet, fruity scents. Don't get me wrong, it's very, very fruity. Uh, let's go to this fragrance. We have Passe Soir from BDK Parfum. Now, this is definitely that, wow. Guys, I wear this all the time. You can see this is my third, second bottle, sorry. Second bottle of Passe Soir and I'm already making a dent in it. I love it so much. It's such an easy wear. And whenever I wear it, I know that I'm gonna smell good. Sorry, my dog. I know that I'm gonna smell good. I know that it's gonna last on my skin. I know that people are gonna enjoy what I'm wearing and I'm gonna get complimented on my scent. It's such an easy reach fragrance for me. And I mostly, I'm not gonna lie, I mostly wear this fragrance to be sexy. Like I wear it around Pierre because I know it's one of his favorite perfumes on me and I want him to enjoy the way that I smell. I love wearing Passe Soir. I always get a great reaction whenever I wear it. It's a very interesting, sweet, floral, sexy, a little bit fruity. It has some quince in there. It has a bit of like this spiciness almost. And for me, it gives me that same vibe as like Baccarat Rouge gives you, that burning caramelized smell. It has this very warm caramelized smell mixed with some florals, mixed with a little bit of a fruitiness in there. It is just sexy, addictive, powerful, and attractive. I absolutely love it. BDK Passe Soir. So we have Insulo by Jeroboam. Now, you guys, if you like vanilla, you are going to love this fragrance. 
I am so, so impressed with this brand, Jeroboam. Um, yeah, wow, <laughs> that's it. Jovois and Jeroboam, they're founded by the same person, which is the person that owns the Jovois store itself. And out of the two brands, I prefer Jeroboam. Don't get me wrong, I still love Jervois, but Jeroboam really, really, really impressed me. All of their fragrances are extract de parfum, and I can tell you I have three in my collection for now. I'm gonna get more, definitely. And my favorite is actually Ambro, then Insulo, and then Origino, which I have over there. Now, the juice lasts so long on your skin, it is so potent, so strong, it projects, it lasts, the oil quality is fantastic. And Insulo is one of the best vanilla fragrances that I currently have in my collection. It's very, very sweet. It's vanilla. It smells like there is some like vanilla orchid or something in the fragrance. I believe there is a little bit of a floralness underneath. But what I can tell you is that it's a thick, it's a dark, it's a sexy vanilla orchid type of scent. And it's just... Wow, really, really, if you wanted a great vanilla scent, this is the one. I will tell you right now, Pierre, he loves and is obsessed with the Insulo. He was wearing it in Cannes, he brought it to Cannes with him because it is a gourmand, it is a vanilla, but it can work on both genders, definitely. Insulo by Jeroboam, wow, 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 wow. You gotta try this one if you're a vanilla fan, it's just fantastic. And what I really appreciate is the longevity and projection of Jeroboam, so yeah. I am finally talking about Oriana from Parfum de Mali. Now, I got so many people asking me to make a dedicated review to this fragrance, but I didn't really feel the need to do so because I saw a lot of reviews online and I only got my bottle quite recently and I just didn't feel the need to do a review. Unless people really, really wanted it, then maybe I would, I would do it. Oriana is a really beautiful, soft, powdery, creamy blend of orange blossom, marshmallow, whipped cream, a little powdery, creamy, smooth. I have to say something, this fragrance has been blended to perfection. And it's something that I'm really disturbed when I smell these sweet orange blossom type of fragrances. I get really disturbed by the orange blossom note very easily because it's not a note that I really am very fond of. That's just a personal preference. So for me, Oriana was never going to be my top favorite fragrance because I don't really like orange blossom in my fragrances. I think I used to like it when I was younger, but not so much anymore. And the blend of this is beautiful. You really smell this kind of orange facet to the scent mixed with that kind of neroli vibe. So it smells like a little bit orangey. It has a little bit of this neroli sort of smell. And then you have that beautiful, sweet, soft, delicate, creamy, musky marshmallow and cream. And I have to say it is a great release. Do I prefer it over Delina? Personally, no but that's just my personal preference. I do see this being a really, really, really top selling fragrance from Parfum de Mali because it's so easy to like and it's very, very appealing. It was made by Nathalie Lawson. She's an amazing master perfumer at Ferminish and Amid Marathi Kashani, which I love this man. He is so kind, he is so sweet and he is so talented. He made Leighton, he made so many from Mali and a lot of other beautiful fragrances. Uh, in the industry. So yeah, the fragrance, it's bound to be a success, but it's not my personal favorite. Although I believe this will be very, very, very appealing to a lot of you girls watching this video. So Oriana from Parfum Noali had to mention it. I do have to say, I was a little disappointed about one aspect of the fragrance. It doesn't last very long on my skin. I wore it a few times, several times to test it actually. And I always got around like, five hours-ish on my skin. But that's my skin and maybe it's gonna be different with yours. So Oriana from Parfum Mali, definitely a commercial uh, success, definitely a fragrance that I would recommend to people that are just entering the niche world. 
and yeah i'm just saying it because me i'm not a fan of orange blossom especially the sweet orange blossom combination it's not something i typically like to wear at all but it's a great scent if that's what you're into passion from m mikalev I adore these people, Martine and Joffre, and it's not the reason I'm talking about their fragrances. I have quite a lot from them, and if you guys watch my videos, you'll see I don't really mention their fragrances so much. It's just because my favorite is Ylang Gold and uh, Mont Parfum, and I've, I've already spoken about them so much. But in general, these two people are the sweetest, kindest, funniest, especially Joffre, just amazing wonderful human beings that i just cherish so much our relationship and again that's not the reason that i'm mentioning the fragrance this fragrance is really really great this is fantastic this is a very woody spicy sweet oriental type of scent but it is being done to perfection super super addictive and sexy it has Patchouli, it has a little bit of oud, it has some cinnamon, some benzoin, some caramel. So what you get is a sweet, slightly spicy, woody type of scent. I have to say the oud doesn't smell very oudy, if you know what I mean. And I'm really happy about that because the scent, it's woody enough uh, by itself. It doesn't need that kind of skanky hit of oud. The oud has been really well done. It's very soft and it's just kind of gives you this very woody feeling to the fragrance. The dry down is very woody, a little creamy, a little spicy and very sweet, but very, very woody in the dry down. And I really, really think that if you're kind of used to those more oriental designer fragrances, a little bit oriental designer fragrances, you're going to love Passion from Mikalev. 10 out of 10. Passion from M. Mikalev, definitely recommend it. I am just so excited to speak about this next fragrance. We have the new release from Goldfield and Banks, which is called Sunset Hour. Goldfield and Banks was actually the first niche brand that I ever discovered. I remember in Perth, I went to a like fragrance shop and they had two niche brands. They had Creed and Goldfield and Banks. And I remember smelling Pacific Rock Moss, which is one of their fragrances. And I just fell in love with it. And that kind of started my love and kind of introduced me into what this world of niche was. I really, really remember this moment. And then I met the founder, Dimitri, who I love. And yeah, the story goes on. But it's funny for me to think back that this brand was the first like niche brand that I ever discovered. And anyways, so Sunset Hour, I am so impressed. And actually there are two latest releases, Sunset Hour and Silky Woods. They're my two favorite from the brand. They are fantastic. How does this fragrance smell? I know you guys are going to love this one. Mm. Oh god, guys, this is super, super good. It's very sweet, fruity. It's creamy. It has a little bit of this kind of coconutty sort of note to it. It has pear, I believe some black currants. It has some pear, it has some mango. Me, I really pick up this kind of tropical, sweet fruitiness, but done in like a soft, more subtle and creamy way. Then it has a little bit of jasmine in here, which you definitely smell in like the supporting way. It's a fruity scent with this mix of like jasmine. It is just delicious. I know you guys are really gonna love this fragrance if you try it. And the reason that it's in this video is because I believe it's a very mass appealing niche scent. This is not like a niche, 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 niche fragrance. This is a beautiful, beautiful, appealing niche scent. It's going to make you feel familiar, yet it's still very unique. I absolutely love it. And it actually reminds me of a beautiful girl I met in Cannes, working for Goldfield and Banks, who I love so much. Victoire, if you're watching, I don't think so. I met her and she was wearing Sunset Hour the whole time, obviously, and she's just... She was such a nice person, so I have good memories with this, and I love, love the fragrance. So, we're gonna talk quickly about this one. It is Indult Paris Manicara. Now, Manicara, ah uh, yes, this is strong, 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 strong. The nose behind this fragrance is Francis Kirkshaw, which he can never create a bad sense. And I'm really excited that he's now the uh, in-house perfumer at Dior. That's really exciting. Manicara is a delicious, sweet, 
rose scent with lots of lychee and it has the dry down a little bit of uh, Tihota from Indoor Paris. Tihota? Tihota? Tihota is one of the best vanilla fragrances. It's very strong, it's very long lasting, also made by Francis Kirkshan. Tihota is a staple and like a, um, what do you call it, like a pioneer in the vanilla niche world. So Manakara for me, it has the lychee, it has the rose, it's a little powdery, very sweet, but the dry down, you have this kind of similar DNA to Tea Hotel, which I love. You guys are gonna love this one. I think it's quite feminine, very sexy, very, very long lasting. You're gonna get noticed with this one 100% and it's top. Manakara from Indoor Paris. I did have one more fragrance, but I don't think I'm gonna include it. It's Gentle Fluidity Gold, but I have Montal Intense Cafe and I feel like they're quite similar fragrances. Uh, in terms of their DNA, but I'll just quickly say it. Gentle Fluidity Gold is also a great one if you're just kind of getting into the world. It's vanilla, sweet, musky, soft, creamy, you know the drill. That is it guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Me, I was very, very passionate about this topic because I love to introduce people to niche fragrances if they've never tried them before. And yeah, anyways, thanks for watching guys and I will see you soon, bye-bye.